Welcome to video 170 in series 3, and now I'm going to make a brief change to the item master script. Alright, so following on from the previous video, this is related to dropping items from the enemy when they die, and when we call the event object throw, a stuff happens on the player uh, that we don't want to happen since that object, that item, is not on the player. So you see there that the crowbar came out, and of course I don't want that behavior. Though I do get this item that's dropped from the enemy, or well, the NPC there. So the, the change to make to the item master script is pretty simple. So let's go ahead and do that. So go to your master scripts and open up the item master. Okay, so this is the item master script, and I'm going to add a new variable. I'm just going to ask here, well, it's a, going to be used as a flag, private bool is on player. Next, I will add a brand new method, so I'll just go down to the bottom and add that in, and it's called void check if on player. Now, if transform dot root is equal to game manager references dot player transform, well dot player dot transform, then is on player is equal to true. Else is on player is equal to false. So very simple check here. This game manager references it's it's a direct reference to the uh, player game object, and in particular, we're just checking that the whatever this gun or this item or whatever it is, whatever it's on, its topmost parent is it the player. If it is the player, then obviously the flag is on player is true. Otherwise, it's false. Okay, so I'll go back up, and in the start method, I will ask that. A oh, correction, not just there, after the set initial references, obviously. So there I'll ask that question. I'll say after the set initial references, then check if on Blair. So then the this item master, which is on this item, it'll be checked if that item is actually on the player. And if that's the case, uh, well then, of course, the flag gets set to the uh, value true. Uh, that boolean, and then there's a bit more that we need to do as well. So you'll recognize this. This is call event object throw, which is what we were calling in the uh, previous video. And you can see what is happening. See, when this method is called, it will call the event hands empty on the player, call event inventory change. So which will cause the player to pull out uh, another item. It will cause the player to pull out the last item in the list and make it active. So if they're holding something already previously in the list, so for example the gun is higher up, uh, it'll cause them cause the player to hold both items, which is a bug, of course. So this is where we need to do now a a check, and I'll quite simply ask if is on player. So if is on player, then we do these things. We don't do it before. And not only that, I will also ask check if on player. I will just do this check as well. So that way, if there's any change in the condition of the item, so the player's thrown it away, then this check if on player will catch that and it will set it to false in that sort of a case. But we're not done yet. We've just got a little bit more to do. I would also like to put here another uh, check here. So if not so not is on player, then we would do these other things. So this one, then we would say player master dot call event event inventory changed. And I would also check if on player again, just call it method, make sure that Boolean status is up to date. All right, so once we do this, then we have no trouble with NPCs dropping items. And in theory, uh, if an NPC were to pick up an item, then we would also be uh, potentially covered as well in this case. Okay, so I'll just quickly go through that. Everything's looking all right, and I never need it on enable there. Well, I didn't need it after I had changed it to the start method. Okay, everything else is looking all right. I've got my new method there. Excellent. Right, time to jump back into Unity and see it in action. All right, so previously I had the assault rifle out, the crowbar shouldn't appear, and excellent, no problem. Perfect. Okay, so that is it. Uh, we've uh, made that change, and now it's no big deal whatsoever. If NPCs are carrying items, uh, all is good now. Okay, well, we've still got a lot more work to do in this chapter, so keep on going forwards.